Hello and welcome back to the Long Island Railroad Montauk branch. Today we will switch the Phelps Dodge facility and finish up the switch list that we printed out oh so long ago. So we can see on the switch list we have one car to pick up from the Phelps Dodge Anode Receiving Facility, which is the car I forgot to do in the last video. Plus five cars in the big red box. Uh, four, or wait, five to pick up and one to drop off. So we have to swap cars at the ore receiving facility, pick up a car at the uh, cathode uh, dispersing facility and pick up three cars at the a general servicing facility. This track plan will help you figure out what's going on. At the top right on the waterfront you can see the anode receiving facility where we're picking up a car. At the very top right the ore receiving facility where we're swapping some cars. Head down from that the cathode shipping facility where we're picking up a car. And down from that on the left is the general receiving facility where we're picking up three cars. The first thing we're going to do is head into the anode receiving facility and pick up the empty box car. You'll notice in this video that I'm not editing it as much as I uh, do in some of my previous videos. I'm just going to let you see everything that goes on except I am going to cut out the parts where I move the camera and the parts where I'm uncoupling cars or otherwise making stupid mistakes. So we're going to take this uh, Pennsylvania boxcar and stash it on a siding to get it out of the way while we do the rest of our switching. At the bottom of the screen you can see the train of uh, anodes ready for delivery to the general receiving area where the overhead crane will take it across the tracks into the uh, electrolysis bays for converting to cathodes. 
And at the top of the screen, you can see we're going to drop this boxcar off on the siding right here, just to get it out of the way, like I said. Now we're going to take this Erie hopper car full of uh, copper ore and first we're going to grab the empty car out of the copper ore receiving facility and then we'll put the full car in its place. And I totally forgot to mention that power for today is RS3 number 1556, which if you remember from the previous videos was in for maintenance, it's back now working just fine. Now we'll take the empty hopper car, which has yet to be weathered, so don't get all excited, and put it here on this track just to get it out of the way, while we then take the full hopper car and put it in the ore receiving facility. Next, we're going to take the goose and shove it back to get it out of the way uh, and also so that it's in position to be at the end of the train when we finally get everything put back together and shove everything back to the yard.
All right, that's good for the caboose for now. Uh, next on the agenda is to pick up the Baltimore and Ohio boxcar, which is directly behind the engine at this moment, and uh, shove it back and put it next to the caboose. Slight change of plan, I've decided I'm going to go get the hopper car that I put over here and pick it up as well and put it and the box car next to the caboose. Now we're going to shove the entire train back so that we have enough room for the engine to do its runaround maneuver while it's picking up all the cars on the facing point sightings.
Now that we've got the train out of the way, we're going to run down and pick up the uh, uh, Pennsylvania Railroad boxcar that we stashed on the siding down here. Luckily, our conductor and brakeman are just all over getting the switches positioned correctly so we can make all these maneuvers. The only thing left to do is to come down the other side of the siding and pick up the three boxcars from the general surface sink facility. Uh, and we'll run around those boxcars so that we can get on the other side of them and then back up to connect with the rest of the train that we already moved out of the way and then we'll be done and then we can back up all the way to the yard. Here you can see the extensive cardboard mock-up I made of the building that I want to put here at the end of the Phelps Dodge facility. It uh, has my overhead crane that I've put across all the tracks and I've put a cover on it and I think it looks pretty good. I'd, I would welcome your opinions on it.
we have completed our run around maneuver. Now we just need to back up and connect with the rest of the cars and back up to the yard. And off we go. I will save you having to watch the trip back to the yard. I've done it plenty of times before and you don't need to see it again. If you have never seen it, then please go back and look at some of my other videos where I'm sure you'll find one that shows it. And here comes some more views of the cardboard mock-up. I like it the way it is, but my wife seems to think I should raise the central roof there so you can get a better view of the traveling crane. Uh, if you have an opinion, let me know. And that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and thank you to all my new subscribers. Slowly clawing my way to a 1,000, which is a big milestone. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'm sure it'll be great whatever it is. So. I'll see you on the next one here at the Long Island Railroad Montauk branch.